Dakle, te dve pokrine su mogli da blokiraju donošenje odluka Srbije, a Srbije gotovo niko nije mogla da utiče na njihovu vlast na neki način. Opet sada ne ulazim u dalju problematiku, vjerojatno ću imati vremena, ja ne bih opet da uzem previše vremena, jer pričali smo i gore, pa ja to verujem da se moji slavunici samo vjerojatno neće složiti, kao se ja nisam nima, nisam slagao mnogo čemu, ali da čujemo. Evo, mogu bih odmah Alberta da da odgovor na ovo kako iz tvojeg ugla ovo što je sada Jovan naveo. Pa, zašto Albanci osjećaju na zadovoljstvo u Jugoslaviji i zašto kreću da pružaju otpor, iako je to u nespomenutoj ustavi 74. gde su data ogne prava i tako. No, you said why they accelerated demands after the Second World War, something. Resistance. Yes, resistance. Okay, so first, when you say that employment was done in such a way, I don't recognize the country where I was living when nine Albanians would be employed and then someone else. So this is not factual. Uh, other issues can be debatable, but when you put an information which is not factual, then even other uh, information can be doubtful. Uh, it is correct to say that uh, the, the President League formulated uh, the the ambitions of Albanians to live in one state, a nation state. Let's say a nation state is not a product of Albanians. First of all, a nation state is a product. Yes, but just to explain. So they wanted to uh, have similar circumstances as other nations around them somehow. They were late in uh, achieving uh, national independence for many reasons, uh, uh, so Serbia got national independence earlier from the Ottoman Empire. So it is a very late project also. And being very late, it's also very fresh construction and you can see it also as it's being constructed. Uh, but freedom, liberty, independence, it's not given by someone. So you have to take it, claim it, earn it, fight for it, take it, basically. So Serbs, when they say we give them everything, they show their hegemonic position also. Because it's not something that you can give to someone. So if they can aspire, are emancipated enough to want a state, to want self-determination, they will ask for it. How and why it was accelerated after the Second World War, I think it was accelerated uh, s since uh, since early stages of the development of the of the Communist Party, because the Communist Party uh, proclaimed uh, the right for self determination. In many cases, in very important manifestos, uh, the right for self determination of of Kosovo, Kosovo Albanians, Albanians living in Kingdom of. Uh, uh, of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenians was mentioned as a factor which would, let's say, correct an injustice done in this uh, in this area. So that yes, they were considered a minority, but they, and I don't want to say us, Albanians were the third largest nation in former Yugoslavia. So it's not a tiny minority. It's like a third largest nation in former Yugoslavia, and they constructed a large, let's say, uh, in a democracy, they would be a large voting machine somehow. Uh, right, so it's just to put things in perspective. So uh, it was not necessarily accelerated. I think during the Second World War, there were many obstacles. There were demands for self-determination. There was a conference where uh, communists of Kosovo, including Serbs, number of Serb and Montenegrin communists were part of a conference, and they proclaimed that the territory should be part of Albania. It was not approved. Then uh, oppression, uh, reclaiming of the territory, military rule. Then there was another decision in prison when they had to vote for remaining in Serbia. So there was an actual vote to remain. Serbia had to have a vote 
to have this part of the territory as part of it. So there's a conference which was organized in Prizren, and the, I don't know how it comes, like why people want to be free and independent. I don't know, you know, like I, I cannot uh, explain this, but I think with uh, growing investments in, in emancipation, uh, growing education possibilities, uh, which were not given, they were uh, achieved through a political process, through a lot of pressure, a lot of demands. And only in 1972, uh, Pristina University opened, 1972. There were sections of what was university before, existing already before, but a university which united all these faculties was established in 1972. The one fact, which I don't know if it, uh, it is uh, somewhere in, in a document, only 2% of the Kosovo population after the Second World War could write their own name. So totally... Uh, uh, illiterate population. Many reasons why. You know, because many reasons why. Because usually the oppressor doesn't go after villagers. They go after intelligentsia. They go after people that can have uh, a vision for. Uh, so a lot was achieved, uh, and but there was always an, an aspiration to have uh, self determination. Uh, in some stages of the of the struggle, uh, the, of course, there are parts of the of the of the struggle that always uh, advocated for uh, reunification with Albania. But I think in 70s, a new project somehow was formulated in a, in a very interesting way. Uh, that uh, excluded reunification, and I think this is also part of the work of the Communist Party of Kosovo, but uh, wanted equal, uh, equal position as other uh, nations in Yugoslavia. Uh, and uh, this is interesting, and you can read in, uh, for instance, there, is a, there was a, a research, I think it was done in 88 or 89, uh, published by Karata in, in Ljubljana, uh, this Knižana uh, Revolucionalne Teorije, this uh, yes, Kurt, uh, and in the in the back cover of it, there's a, an, an interview with the Kosovo Albanian, uh, and he says something like this: If you would tell me that tomorrow I'll be part of Albania, I will just leave this place. So there was a sentiment that Kosovo should have equal position in Yugoslavia, but there was never a projection among the politicians or the majority population that the country should be part of Albania. This is 89. Why today there's a growing sentiment uh, that it should become part of Albania? I think Serbia has a lot to do with it uh, because it doesn't recognize uh, Kosovo and makes obstacles in the way of its uh, uh, trying to be a normal uh, country. For instance, Kosovo football players only last year started to play football internationally. Imagine, two million people, they cannot play football. Why? Because uh, playing football, it means that you're a state. I mean, and you have other solutions of other nations, other countries, which create similar agreements for similar conditions. Uh, and this is then pushing Kosovo football players, yes, sorry, I'm long a bit. So the majority of the Albanian national football team are Kosovars. And this is interesting, right? Be why? Because they could not play internationally. And then Albania was going after talents in Europe, equipping them with Albanian passports, and they helped uh, uh, create this dream even bigger today. So also, how much NATO is supporting Kosovo, this is also a big issue. Kosovo is still the only country in European Union uh, that cannot, in Europe, sorry, that cannot travel free without a visa. No. So this is, uh, no? no? Which is the other country? Um, you also got a simple uh, there's a growing uh, dissatisfaction with uh, the Kosovo uh, uh, population uh, and there are politicians who with populism 
think that they can solve all uh, problems. For instance, they say, if you unite with Albania, everything will be fine. You know, it's like, uh, so there are many problems, and these uh, national uh, projects are resurfacing because there are uh, these uh, certain conditions which are real. I mean, it's not, uh, yeah, this is my take on it. I mean, I don't know. Ne mogu da dozvoli samo da da možda i oca to repliciram. Ne bih teo da budem nepristavan prema gostu, ali ono što je rekao nema veze sa mozgom, ne sa istorijom. On mu kaže. Prijatelju, kako ti, kako, čak i prijatelju, znači, kako ti obješ, rekao si, Albanci su bili teći po broju, pa jedna zemlja se nadređuje po brojnosti kako koji deo narod treba da bude ili određena prvna, da prvo konstitutivnosti. Znala, nebitno. Neka budu i druga, neka budu i nebitno. Albanci su u Bojšu Jugoslaviji bili narodnost, to je nacionalna manjena. Na narodnoj zemlji svijeta nacionalna manjena, pa čak na toj, na narodnoj manjena teorija o narodu na samom predstavu, teori pravo narodno samopredeljenje ne stoji da to domo narodi, a ne nacionalno manje, to je narodnosti. S druge strane, ako bismo išli tim principom, vi u Evropi imate pa sigurno 15, znači 20 zemalja gde bi određene nacionalne manje trebali da imaju pravno samopredeljenje, da nikom nije ispoštovano i da bišu u Slaviji. Jer su pravno samopredeljenje imali slovenci, jel tako, imali su, oni su bili izglasovni zavisnost. Albanci takođe, jel tako? Krevati, isto tako, jel da? Referendum u BiH je 1. marta 92. godine i isto tako je ne dato pravno sobredljenje. Samo je nekada ne dato pravno sobredljenje. Je li tako? Dakle, ne u Krajini, ne u BiH, ne na Kosovo, jer nas neko ovde pitao na severu Kosova da li mi želimo da budemo dajno izvisno Kosovo. Ako ti kao, evo, pa samo pravljenje. Ili, ili, da, da, naravno. Ima tih političara, naravno. Ima političara za Kosovo, that say that Srbs in the north because they have some criteria, should have the right for self-determination, for your information. U redu, to je za mene novost, nema problema, nema problema. Oprostite. Na jednom od slušaća što je storiča, kad su ono kružili po Jugoslaviji, pričavajući krizu, bila doneta zajednička odluka da u svakoj republici bude uspom napravljena na trenutku. Samo u Srbiji nije povedeno. Prije toga i prije toga, samo da vam kažem, postoji i plan, sad da nazim sad u miru i plan, ali to mi je zdaleko odvrano. Dakle, rat u Bosni i Hrci koji je bio na neki način, koji je bio na neki način 